Hello, my friends, and welcome to our blind let's play Breath of Fire 3 for the PSP. My name is Father Sparrow. This is your story based gaming channel, and I finally caught an angler. Oh, this was a mission. Like, thank you. Thank you so, so very much, uh, my friend uh, Rico. Uh, because Rico Nico said. If you go to a fishing spot and hit circle, it'll tell you the fish that you could catch. Now here, I only had two fish labeled. I had a sea bream and I had a manila. And if you remember from the last episode, I was off to the, uh, I was off where the forest is in Windia. So I went east, and as I checked all these little ponds as I went east, uh, nothing was unknown until I got to that pond. And so I started fishing there. The famous octopus bed. Looks like there is anglers here as well. Uh, so I could probably call an angler here too. But man, that is a huge help to know. And, and guess what? There's still, there's still something I haven't caught here. Despite all my time working, um, there's still an unknown fish here. I don't know what to say about that. But now that we caught the fish, I'm gonna head back to Windia. And in Windia, we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to um, check up on the hide and seek people, uh, see if there's still one more person out. And at the same time, we'll be able to go see the uh, chef. I hope you all having a wonderful day today. On the way back, I can actually go see Deus now. So let's go see our snake lady friend. Um, well, well, what are you doing here? Did you miss me that much? You mean there's someone who wants to learn from me? Uh, yeah. Okay, but only on one condition. You have to call me ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm not going to play games with her. Uh, the problem is... Hmm. What do we do about this? I'm pretty sure she's a powerful master. But what do we do about her? If I look at the master list here. Deus. Wow. Wow. Um. Wow. <laughs> Oof. Hmm. I don't want to give up on Emetai. I've already learned a few things under him. But I really like that agility upgrade. Yeah, I lose one AP and one intelligence, but I really like the agility. We'll also lose more HP and defense. What I think I'll do, I think I'll finish training under Emetai. And then when I'm done training Emetai, I'll go to Deus. Now I know what you're thinking. Let us birdie, should go to Deus right now. This is a really good master. I hear you. I, I do. But at the same time, I wanna try to complete one master before starting another one. I know that may seem... That may seem a little bit, maybe not good. But it's just what we're gonna do. I haven't been to the uh, fairy circle yet today, so let's go here. Nothing new. All right, well, let's get out of here then. 
<laughs> and away we go. Yeah, so I started the episode here. So I just went straight east. But if I go here. Piranha, trout, rainbow trout, bass, black bass. You see, I know that the angler would not have been there. And that's kind of what I did. I just checked all the fishy spots going east. And it eventually led me to where it led me. I never guessed you'd find everybody. Hey, we found everyone. From now on, you're all part of the gang. If you listen to what I tell you, your power will go up. Oh, he's a master. Aha. What's this guy gonna say? You found me, I gave up. I don't wanna beat. You might not know if I'm looking at me, but I'm pretty strong. I might be able to help you out if you want me to try. What do you say? Wait, are they all masters? Oh man, I have so many masters I wanna learn from now. It's blowing my mind. Whoa, you're fighting me. Reminding me of that time you found me when we were kids. As a way of saying thanks for playing with me then. I'd like to help you out. Why don't you become my apprentice? I love playing hide and seek. It's like a drama, you know? First you part ways, only to meet each other again. How wonderful it is. Thanks for playing with me. I can teach you a few things in return. Okay, so I need to look at all their stats. I also need to go to the cooking guy because I should have the potential now. To get him as a master. And what we also want to do is we want to port to the other side of the world as well. So there's a few good reasons for us to be here. Head upstairs. I think I have all of your stuff now. Uh, yes, I have heard about you. Oh, wonderful, you have all the ingredients I asked for. All right then, I make you my apprentice. I'll make you into a first rate cook in no time. Again, I need to check his stats. Did he take all my items by the way? Because I really would like that uh, agility up thing. Ah, I took them all. Wow, we have 45 shelly seeds now. Dang it, he took the um the agility up. I really want to hold on to that for a couple levels. Especially if I got um Ryu going under uh Deus eventually. Uh it makes a whole lot of sense to uh not give him the agility. Alright, where are we going? Uh, really point A, I guess? Uh, I don't think it likes really point A. Donna region. Okay, apparently this is still a point I haven't explored yet. Maybe it's the, um... Across the sea. Can't learn anything from him. Right, what was I doing in the Donna region? I had to get a uh, horseradish, which is a forest near Donna mine. And I really only know of one forest. Right? There's only one forest. The size is almost tangible in such place. Piranha, trout, rainbow trout, and all the question marks. So there's something else there. Don't really need anything else at the moment. Alright, so this is the only forest I know of. See, a dark forest. But do I need Pico to knock down a tree? 
thinking I do. You know what, you're gonna, you can keep that. Eventually I'm gonna hit the right buttons. So I'm thinking I probably need um Pico to hit a tree. And that's how I get the horseradish. Ah, oh, nice crit video. Good good start of the episode, my friends. Very good start to the episode. And we even got some gems, which will get us some extra gold, hopefully. So I see a tree over there with red. I'm wondering if that's the horseradish. I mean, we've already fought trickers before. These are no problem at all to us. Oh, wait. Those are horserad- We already have horseradishes. We already have horseradishes. Go get him, Pico. Wow, 107. 111. Aw, oh, guard missed. Dang it, we have the item that we need all the time. So what is up with those trees, though? Now I am curious. I really want to bonk a tree on one of those trees to see what happens. Because they have red on them. Are those just berry trees? They're probably just berries. You never know, though. You never know! So close. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Quickly getting back up to 6,000 Zenny, which is really good. Yeah, they're just berries. Darn it. All right. So we don't, we have all the items then, right? Cause we have the mackerel, we have the uh, seeds, we have the vinegar, we have the horseradish. So all I gotta do now is just go back to where we came from. Ooh, nice shot, Pico. Be really nice if we could fight a uh, another good titan before we leave. Well, those guys are kind of worth a lot, you know. I right, just some slashers. Okay. Um. I guess we're heading on back. So I'm gonna see you guys in a few. I'm gonna head to the teleporter um, and then head down to the coffee shop. Cause I gotta do something really quick anyway, so. I completely forgot where we had to go. So I'm glad I had to put a cut in there anyway. I had to check my recording cause I didn't remember if I hit record or not. Um, yeah, I just wanna make sure, you know? Uh, you got everything, right? All right then, I'll tell you how to make Shisu. Oh boy. The most important thing you have to remember is that as you need it, the shaley will shrink. One good need means you lose about one shaley seed. My mother taught me that you shouldn't need it more than twice. Oh dear lord, why does everything have to be so complicated? Alright, give me one second, let me write this down. Um, Let's see here. Uh, need no more than twice. 
The mackerel will be larger or smaller depending on how big a fish you catch. The bigger the fish, the larger the slices will be. What does that tell me? The more you use, the bigger the ball will be. Just because it makes something big, you shouldn't. The trick is to make sure the size of the ball matches the size of the mackerel slices. How am I supposed to know how big the mackerel slices are? You should give the ratio of vinegar to shaley seeds at about one fourth or so. So vinegar to shaley, one fourth. And a slice of mackerel is about equal to the size of shaley ball. You have to balance the amount of horseradish with the amount of shelly seeds and mackerel. So horseradish equal to shelly and mackerel. Does this all really need to be in the game? I mean, come on. If you use a lot of mackerel, then you use a lot. And if you have more shelly than mackerel, not so much. What was that last one? A lot of mackerel, then use a lot. So, a lot of... More shally, not so. I am so confused. Might be hard to be here for this explanation, but you'll get the hang of it once you try it. How do I make it though? The bigger the shoes do, the better. But more important, the size is balanced. If we say the mackerel is 10, then we want the shallow to be 8. So, mac 10, shallow 8. The vinegar be two. Horseradish four. It might be hard to understand. So how do I make it? I, I don't get it. How do I actually make the shisu? right now yeah like where do I go to make the uh the shisu I mean am I just dumb here or cuz I assume you got to make the shisu before you go see the guy right Do I go to this guy in Windia? Because they were they had Shisu here, right? Now I go vi fall victim my charms. Oh So don't get this! Again, why is that why does this have to be in the game? Ah! I mean, why could it just be a simple fetch quest and then she makes the uh, Shisu? So that's the problem is I have no idea where it is I'm supposed to go. I guess I should just go on back here. And talk to the guy. Let's see.
I have no idea. <laughs> this music is very head bouncy. Alright, we're right in part. It is still playing with the roach. That is very disturbing. This isn't the guy. Uh huh, uh huh. I do. Our stable food's fish, you know. But the Mary doesn't like fish ever since he got sick. Now he hardly speaks to anyone. I, I honestly don't understand. The mayor is so stubborn. Apparently we gotta talk to this guy. What? Feed him fish? The mayor? Shisu? Hmm, but would it work? We won't know unless we try, I guess. Let's try it then. Oh. Well, the problem is I don't know how big the mackerel is. Um... Slice the max girl should equal the size. How many have I put in here? Five? There's ten. It's about twelve. Okay. I think that's about it. So I have fourteen. I have fourteen of these. I have no idea what the number is for the mackerel. Because I don't know what the slices are. Um. Uh, vinegar is about one fourth of the shally. So I need about three of these. And the horseradish. If I have a lot of mackerel, I need a lot of horseradish. It's not letting me do anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot to need it. Hmm, didn't go as well as we planned, eh? Don't give up, keep trying. You failed. Your attempt to get the mayor good side didn't work. I, I, that's what the KND button is. The KND button is need. I, I didn't realize that's what it meant. How do I cut this up though? What did I say? 14? Let's go for 12. If I go for 12, then I need uh, 3 vinegar. And four horseradish. I think I did it. What's this? This, this is Shisu. <laughs> Whoa! That horseradish has got a good kick to it. We use she's to play work. The mayor's in high spirits again. Who's up? Hmm, the outer sea, eh? And you want me to tell you about the legendary mariner? Normally, I tell you to get such foolish I notions out of your head, but I owe you for the shisu, don't I? Yes, you do owe me. Awkward falls. Here, take this. Got the sea charts. That shows all the currents in the sea. Around here. If you follow it, you should be able to get through the crags to the east of here. That's where you'll find him. The legendary mariner.
east of the village. You had to do some searching. The crags are to the east of the village. Did you find them? Oh, by the way, thanks for the shisu. I'm so glad the mayor's recovered. Thanks to you, the mayor has recovered his vigor. Thank you so much. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Hey, we got a wisdom fruit. How about that? Is he gonna give me anything else? But is she really that good? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that's over. I mean, I don't mind the diversion all too much. It's just that was a little bit too much. I mean, we had to get four different items and after getting the four different items, we had to put them together. I mean, it just was a lot of like extra stuff that we had to do. And it seems like it really slowed down the story quite a lot. So where are, how do I go? Ah. The charts say that the tides only allow passage through these shallow waters for a limited time. You'll need a hurry to beat the tides. That's probably, okay, that's not what the engine is for. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I am going the wrong way. And once again, it's really, really hard to control this thing. Oh, there's a chest over here. No! Controlling this ship is really, really hard. I mean, you see that? Like, why did it, why did it go down? Tell, like, I said, the ship is so dang hard to control. Find an ice dagger, very, very cool. They do not give you a lot of time in here. No sorry. More agility, more power, but it's got an elemental property, which on some enemies, this could be a bad thing. And I lose the crit, but still the power is a big enough upgrade, I think. See how you move? It's so jank. I don't think I've ever used that word on the channel before, but it kind of is. Ah! See, I can't control it for some reason. Don't know why it's so hard to control, but it is so very, very hard to control. Okay, maybe it's because I'm using the analog stick. I'm using the directional pad now. So basically you have to press up to go forward and then you just press right once to move right once and left to move left like this. But I ran out of time, are you kidding me? I did that so well and I ran out of, why do they give you so little time? That is ridiculous game. Why the heck do they only give me 25 seconds? I mean, you kind of had to do this perfectly. And like I said, the movement is very touchy. Like super touchy. Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? No! Oh, I had it! I was right there! Man. Like I said, controlling this ship is not easy. Really, really is not. 
And there's a chest up there that I don't think I'll ever be able to get. Heck, I don't even know if I'll be able to get to this, to this Mariner at this rate. I mean, look at this. And the problem is again, if I use the analog stick, which is what I feel comfortable with, it causes me to like turn way too much. You see that? Like, I, I really had to be, hold my thumb really, really firmly to not turn all over the place. I, I think I got it though. I think I got it. 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 Wait, wait, what? What did I? What did I go in? I was right next to the dog. I, I was right there, and he wouldn't let me go in. Are you kidding me, game? Seriously, you and I need to have a talk about this, all right? 25 seconds on this janky, wibbly wobbly ship. There's not enough time, okay? And then you have to click on like an exact spot. You, you can't just go to the uh, to, to the house and click on it. No, you have to click on some random spot. Ah! The rage! Seriously, this is rage inducing at this point. Uh, if Light of Spirit, what do you think of Breath of Fire 3? I think Breath of Fire 3 is an amazing RPG, and I'm so glad to play it. Uh, would you, is there anything bad about Breath of Fire 3? Yes, everything involving this. I was right there, and I couldn't get into the house. I was pressing the button. And nothing happened. I have no idea how I get into this house. Oh, I am into the house! Hey, how about that? Let's never do this again. I don't think I could get that chest in the background. I just don't think there's any shot. I know, Duan. We got guests. Ah. That's a guild ship, ain't it? What would the guild want with me? And don't get me wrong, they're like every single RPG you play. There are moments of frustration. Legend of Lagaya. That stupid Delias fight. Um Grania 1, the soldier's graveyard. How about Final Fantasy 6? Zozo. In every great RPG, there's there's usually a level or so that you're just like, I really wish this wasn't in the game. That was this game's sin right here. I don't know, sin's kind of a strong word, but you know what I mean. Like that whole navigating with the ship thing in 25 seconds and having to go get all the materials to make Shisu. I mean, I could have done without that hour and I still would be loving this game. What would they get want with me? Anyways, welcome. Come inside, have some coffee or something. And yes, if you didn't see me fighting through the soldier's graveyard or the Delias fight, uh, you could see me rage in those things because those places were ridiculous. And so, we hope to ask the legendary mariner how to cross the sea. Oh, uh, legendary mariner. Are they still calling me that? My name is Kukuyus. I'm not a sailor. I haven't explored the reaches of the outer sea. Well, a lot of good you are. What? Then you don't have a boat we could use? Well, I did come from the other side of the uh, sea, but as a castaway. Then you do know how to cross the sea. Please tell us we have to cross it. Impossible. No middle sea boat could make the trip. Besides, there is nothing worth mentioning out there. Yeah, right. Then where do all those machines come from? If you got here, 
Then there must be a way for us to get there. Please, QQs, tell us how. If you're that determined, then maybe there's a way. You must find a certain ship. You know, I forgot to look at all the masters that we just picked up to see what their stats are like. You know, the hide and seek guys, the chef, the black ship. Yes, you know it as the black ship. It's a large ocean going transport. If you could get aboard it somehow. Those look like really big cannons. I only said it might work. <laughs> Here we are. I doubt this will work. <laughs> but here goes. She's just firing on the thing. See? I don't think we can stop it that way. Hey, something's moving. Uh, that doesn't look good. Danger? 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 <laughs> Look at Momo. Zig, get us out of here quick. Tell me, what were you thinking? <laughs> what? Are you saying it's my fault? <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I guess it attacks anything that gets close to it. Well, actually, we fired at it first. We need a new plan of some sort. What should we do, Ryu? Uh, good question. What are we going to do, Mr. Ryu? You're the captain now. I just does what the captain says, eh? You should probably talk it over with uh, your friends before making up your mind, yeah? It looks like the only way we'll be able to get across the ocean is on that ship. There's got to be something we could do, right, Ryu? If that dummy hadn't attacked it like that, it wouldn't have gotten angry and come after us, you know. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It's not my fault, okay? Oh, it's you, Ryu. What are you going to do? Are we going to give up? Okay then, so... Now what we need to do is figure out a way to get on board. That ship. What if we rammed it? I think it's a lot bigger than us. I don't think we'd have any trouble if we could just get aboard it. And that's the problem, isn't it? I didn't mean to go up. Oh, look at Pico. F you. After all that, he's still sound asleep. How does he do it? Ah, uh, now's not time to look at the diary. I want to look at the masters. Ramming speed. Just like from Ben Hur. Made up your mind? What? Ram it? All right. That's what I hope you'd say. <laughs> Leave it to me. There's only one man for this kind of job, and that's me. Okay, Captain Sir, you just watch. I'll have you on that ship in no time. Or my name's not Zig. Ramming the black ship. Use the control and maneuver your boat. Build up speed with the run button and ram the black ship from directly behind. 
Be careful not to overheat your engine. Where's the, where's the run button? I, I haven't had a run button that I know of. I mean, we've been moving pretty quickly. Where the heck are we? Oh, there it is. Can't. Um. Just bouncing off it. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Okay, I found the, uh, the, the run button. It's a triangle, which is the most unhelpful button. Oh. There we go. I didn't have to ramp it that hard. I just had to hit it from behind. We did it. That was pretty rough. I wonder if everyone's okay. Well, we made it at full speed. Maybe you should go check on everyone. I hope no one was uh, up a deck. Hey, I told you I was good for something, eh? That was really something, wasn't it? Boom. Now that minigame game I didn't mind too much. You'll be able to board the black ship from here. But first, you should check on anyone else. Now's not the time for resting. Looks like, looks like a plane worked, eh? That was a pretty big bump, eh, for you? Pico fell right off where you were sitting. Oh no, where's Pico at? Aww. Poor guys. Oh, Ave. <laughs> mm hmm. Phew, that woke me up. Pico fell right on top of me. Momo looks all right as well. Oh wait, we gotta check on Pico! Game! Usually. The black ships are completely automated. So if you get on that ship, then it'll take you back where it came from, the other side. So, I think... It's good to see Pico's okay. If we get to the bridge, we should be able to figure out how the automated systems work. We'll have to look for the bridge, which might take a while, but we can always come back here to rest, right? Please choose three party members. All right, well, we're gonna go with uh, Momo and Gar. Again, we're trying to get Gar to be done with bending already. All right, all new um, people. Heiochi, Cook, HP, Power, Defense, AP, Agility, Intelligent. So this would be good for uh, Gar, right? Also be kind of good for Pico as well. Uh, Bayus is just Power plus one. Lang Defense, Lee Intelligence. And one HP. So these these are probably good just for skills, not for stats. All right. Well, unfortunately, we don't have um. We don't have uh. Well, we're kind of still working on a masters right now so we can't change anything i wonder if there's enemies here we'll know within about five seconds because as soon as we take like five steps in we'll know if we got in combat or not oh check out this music go left left is always right all right no enemies how about that i can fully explore nope 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 never mind Never mind. Bolt archers. Stupid lucky strike. Aaron platform 
number three. Okay, so using Momo here doesn't do anything. What the heck is all this? Platform movement program. Uh. What? What? Uh, three. Apparently I went down. I don't know if that was a good thing or not. Another bolt archer. No critical this time at least. But we miss. Hey, Momo with a shot. Momo getting close to level 22. Or 23. Sure, put it on. Why not? I don't think there's anything else here. Okay. So I guess we'll just go down the list. Is that it? All right, I didn't do anything. Two. Could also possibly go down the pit as well. See an ID card stuck. Absolutely. Excellent. This did not take me down, unfortunately. Okay, next up is four. I'm trying to go down that pit. There we go. Treasure. Found skill ink. Not bad. I don't think there's anything else here. Like, all these other rotations are going to take me anywhere. Yeah, they're not gonna take me anywhere. All right, we got the card. And we got a chest. I think that's really good. And the best thing is, uh, this was sort of a dead end, so now we know we're going the right way. Crane operation panel. Uh, with guide. Pressing on the X button moves the crane right. Let's know the X button again. Moves the crane. Okay. So let's see. I need to go out here and then up here. I think I actually got that right on my first try. Yeah, I did. How about that? Ah, oh, we're making a bridge. I see. All right, this time I just want to go a little bit up and all the way back. I don't know where this box is. Okay, I was a little bit off. So I need to go here, and then all the way up here. I missed. Man, I, that was hard, because you can't really see it. All 
I think I did it. Yes! Got it! Alright, that's box number two. I want to get the one in the back right now. So that would be all the way over... Uh, did I go too far? No, I think I nailed it. Hey! How about that? So let's see what happens if we get this last one. I'm not good at the crane game in uh, arcades, by the way. I just like this crane game. Ah! Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I like, I like, I like. Especially if it's got something good in it. A light bangle. Well, let's see what that does. Accessory? It is. I like, I like a lot. Definitely want the 10 power, that is for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and give the power to him. I, I like that a lot. If I had every character with the light bangle, I would take every character with the light bangle. I kid you not. I, I think that is absolutely huge. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something hidden here. Are you kidding me? There is nothing hidden here. Out of all the times this game has taught me about hiding objects behind things, there is nothing here. All right, there is a door and there's also a way to go down. So why don't we go to the door first? Flash shells. Well, that sounds good. It is good. And just as blindness plus 16 power. Now I need to go this way. It's the only way to go now because of the boxes. Okay, this takes me back out. No reason to leave. Try a new spell. Wow, these little guys are fast. Yeah, let's see what our new spell looks like. This is a spell we picked up from Emitai. I can't judge the spell because it missed. I was just thinking we wouldn't miss with this spell. But apparently we can miss with this spell on these guys. These guys are really annoying. Can I just say that? These guys are really annoying. And Gar is blinded. Man, high invasion enemies is so annoying. Uh, Momo's about to die. And I haven't been able to do anything to hurt these guys. They should be weak to fire, right? Good, no crit, because that would have been bad. That would have been really bad, that crit. There we go. Man, those guys are annoying. Fire off some heals because I know there's a um, there's a uh, a way to rest right outside. Okay, this takes me out here, which seems like the most pointless door in the history of mankind. Why does that door exist? Like seriously, why does that door exist? Ooh, 
Ooh, this guy looks new. Go ahead and, um... Try to see if we can learn something from him. Thankfully, we're fast enough to hit him. So this will do less damage. Wow, I still did a lot. That still did a lot of damage. We'll go left because left is always right. And uh, chest. See, left is always right. I'm telling you, my friends. Left is always right. All right, defend, lava burst, defend. Son of a, gotta be kidding me. Tell me that just did not happen. Tell me that just did not happen. Tell me that just did not happen. I mean, come on. Uh, these these little guys are really annoying Symbol flame breath should work here. I should not need to inferno Good thing is I don't think I could in front of because I just got silenced. How to use dragon form to fight a bunch of little tiny wooden dolls. That's a new low, I think. That wasn't enough. Guards hurt a lot more than I thought. Anything here? Found ammonia. Nothing. Opponent has initiative because of course he does. Oh wow, nice counter. Momo's about to level up. Twenty-four hundred zenny. See, I'm telling you, tucked away in the corner of the room. Almost having to, almost expect to find like a brood thing back there. It says boost counter. Okay. And what's the point of that? I did check required to use elevator. ID, a bunch of numbers? Okay, excellent. Is it gonna take me outside? Probably meanless, right? Oh no, this isn't meanless. I can actually walk around here. Can't walk around very far, but I can walk around here. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is basically meaningless. Why do those things exist? Yeah, I just noticed what time it is. And I do need to stop, like, soon. So I think what I'll do is I'll head... Uh, head on out. Maybe get Momo level. And then switch out Momo. 
because if she levels up, she might be uh, ready to master uh, Hondua. So I don't want to waste. I don't mean to use the word waste, but you know what I mean. I don't want to use up any levels on things that I could uh, possibly have later. If I can learn Ice Strike, that would be really well. Did not learn it. For oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! This game is such a freaking troll! Oh, come on! The one character who's casting this spell is the one character who gets, like, nullified. Let's see how a Typhoon works on these guys. Okay, note to self, just use Typhoon. <laughs> just use Typhoon. I wonder if I should keep going on my party though. Uh, I'm gonna use Typhoon and Lava Burst. Cause yeah, screw this. They can only put one person to sleep. There we go. Moby Kim level 22, 6, 4, 2, 2, 3. Not a bad level up. Now the question is though, um, who do I want to get my party? Like I could very easily sub out Gar. Matter of fact, I'm thinking of doing that. I don't want that. Yeah, just go ahead and do a master place. Oh, that's weird. They kicked me out all the way up here. Welcome home. How did it go? Oh, how do I switch party members? Zzz, I never thought I'd end up on the other side of the ocean. I just click the book. There we go. All right, I think I'm going to go back with... um. Uh, team uh, Wear Tiger, which is Ray and Nina. Go ahead and optimize both of them. Stick with the Magician Rod. Got a 105 defense now. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so with her. Bring up fire because she's Yggdrasil. And, um, Midas Zone for money. Uh, two hint chance is good. Surprise attack is good. We're giving more power straight up. And you, of course, has a wisdom ring and a uh, light bangle. Your jelly is really high despite the fact you're wearing the heaviest armor you can. Yeah, I'm good with that. Good with that. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, my friends, my name is Flyers Burr. This is your Skin Channel. And this is our blind Let's Play about the Fire 3 for the PSP. A little bit of frustration today, not going to lie. But um, I think we got past that part of the game. And uh, we're ready to continue on. Uh, Yeah, I, I, I don't... As I said before, don't let... Don't let the parts that I'm like raging about make you think I'm not enjoying this game. I'm enjoying this game a lot. If you don't believe me, go back and look at how long the last few episodes have gone on. The fact that I've gone like an hour and 10 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes. I mean, that shows that I really am into this game because I really am into this game and I'm really enjoying it. But the game does have frustrations at times. Don't get me wrong. But uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll pick this up and tomorrow's part we made some progress in the ship we got the id card uh there's no reason why we probably should not be able to finish the ship tomorrow or the next day 
depending on when we do Breath of Fire 3 again. Uh, the reason I say probably is because I have underestimated how long dungeons can be sometimes. I think of the Soldier's Graveyard, for example. That dungeon went on for like an hour and 45 minutes. It was just, oh my god, that dungeon would never end with the most annoying enemies possible. I give you absolutely no experience, gold, or anything. And the only item worth getting in the dungeon is like the very, very, very last item in the dungeon. <laughs> oh. Grinding was amazing, though. Besides that dungeon. <laughs> that dungeon to me just was like, ah! Ah! So long, my friends. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, Please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.